you the old fashioned way. <laughs> so we see this quite often in martial art films, right? People go in and go, ah, I've got the claw. They go in and rip the throat out. It's pure fantasy. It's a, a simple fantasy, it doesn't work. Having said that, there are ideas where you can use the wire of your hand. Usually, uh, when you've got knives coming and so on, I have done, I have trained with a couple of special forces guys before, and uh, they were working, smothering the knife and using the wire of the hand, literally, to jam into the, wire, into the windpipe. Now, here's the thing. When you're doing that type of attack, what you're actually essentially doing is using it, the webbing of the hand, to ram into the throat. So you're not trying to grab the throat and rip it. Nobody goes, ah, and pulls the throat out and goes, ah, hold it up to the sky, right? Just doesn't happen. So we're just gonna look at a very simple idea. If, for example, someone does grab you, which they're not likely to, I mentioned before that you can try to get to the outside of the arm, but failing that, if you can't, a simple defense is to find the thumb. Okay, I think everybody would agree. If you find and pull the thumb, okay, you can rip it off and then you can start to strike. But here's the thing. If you go one and then you control the elbow, okay, try to punch me with the other arm. Boom, and I turn, I can actually rip and then make it really awkward for them to, to regain and hold their arm. So it's a very simple thing to do. It's not as violent as actually hitting the guy because I always advocate if the guy goes to grab, you go and grab and hit him back and really go straight into multi-strike into multi -strike, start striking. Because what you want to be able to do is take it to them. So, on that note, myth breaking, I don't know what I'm saying now, but it doesn't really matter because I'm closing the video. Doesn't work, forget about it, but it's easy to get off anyway. Have a good day.